Hey YouTube, welcome to part 6 of the Gravel Grader build. In this episode we'll be making the leveler bar, the edges and making the bushings to attach both of them to the sides. And because all I had is uh, 100 mil wide uh, pieces to make parts 014 and 015 out of, I have to plasma these down to 90 and then I'll be able to shape the ends on them. So in case you're wondering, this is the side of an old computer, I'm just using it because it's got a nice straight edge and it's relatively disposable so if I happen to slip and cut it, I'm not going to cry tears of blood over it as I would over my straight edge. Now I'll try out my ingenious little circle cutter. And there's one of them done. Came out really smooth on these sides. But I got a bit of dross down underneath, particularly around the curve. Probably could have moved it a bit smoother. I'm gonna have to figure out something just a bit better for the radius. Got a couple of ideas of what might work. Might make a little project out of that. See if I can get one of them to do a better job. Okay, this is part 014. Got the radius cut there and the radius cut on the front edge room. And I got a mark there where I got to bend him. I've got one of them set up already in the vice over there. Zoom in on him a bit. There we go. I've got him set up in the vice over here. I'm going to try and bend him by hand. And again, I have to do it without heating because I don't have my forge done yet. That's another project. What I do have is a pair of Stilsons and a blacksmith's vice. Fortunately, he's bending just a bit higher. I should have done it that way, I think. Yes, that's better. So I'm just going to eyeball the bend. Yeah, a little bit more than that, I think. Now it'll be able to do it. That'll do. Well, I'm just turning down a bush in the way. Thought I should have had something the right side, but I can't find anything. So I'm turning this down to fit and drill a hole through it, and that will be my bush. This is the piece it's got to fit in, and she's a pretty snug fit there. I've drilled it 26 millimeters, and I've made the bush 26 millimeters. The plan is called for 25.4, but my drill happened to be 26 millimeters, so that's what I did. Uh, you can use plans as a guideline, you don't have to stick exactly to them in most places. A little bit of common sense, you'll know where you've got to stick to the plans and where you can deviate a bit. Now again, the plans call for 19 millimetres, three quarter of an inch bush. And that's because we've got six mil plate, or if you're in the United States, you've got a quarter inch plate. So you want three quarter inch or 19 mil, just a shade over to allow just a little bit of movement. Because I've used five mil plate, because that's what I had. I'm going to cut these at 16 mil. So again, a little bit flexible. Okay, that's the two bushes we need. Yeah, because I didn't have the right size angle, 
angle I'm using for the trailing leveler is a little bit bigger than it should be. So I've got to cut off the extension onto the arms uh, that are a bit wider and shaped for the angle. I thought that would make it look a bit better. That's what I want, angle fits there, and then these are tapered back into the piece of metal that I did have, which is the right side. You go and weld them on and you can see what I mean. Well, I've got a clamp up there ready to weld. This is part 015, and I've got this little section here that I'm going to add on to the end of it to accommodate the larger piece of angle line that I ended up using. I'm just going to do a butt weld across here. I'll turn it over and do a weld on the other side, and that should be plenty strong enough to hold it. I've got to weld part 015 and 016 together, two 015s. I've modified the 015s a little bit. Sort of make them look a bit flasher, not sure now. I can always cut it off afterwards if I don't like it, so I'll weld them up the way they are and see how they look. I've got to find some way of holding these together, and I've already proved that these magnetic corner clamps don't work for the TIG welding, but so they've got to be good for something. So I'm going to give them a go with the stick welding and see if they can cope with that. It's a matter of getting him positioned in the right spot. Now I'll need to go and find a square and just check him. That doesn't look too good. That doesn't look too good at all. On the other hand, that's not going to matter too much. It's not necessary to put a bend across here to so bring him into line. So I think the thing to do is just to go ahead, pack him up there, and for him to take the other end, see how it looks, and weld him. Righty go, here we go. Now just check the distance of the hole, that's probably the one really critical measurement. And one millimetre. Perfect. Now we'll do it. And it looks quite a well down this end. Now I'll take him over and just give him a test bit, make sure he looks about right, come back and weld him. Let's see if we can get a decent shot of the weld. I do have plans to set up something and get some close-ups in the near future. And a nice looking weld. Yeah, it's good having a nice weld. Oh yes, that other weld is pretty good. Little flux conclusion at the start there. I'm having a bit of trouble getting over that pump. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I thought I had another little bit of trouble just there when I got to the pack. Another little flux inclusion there. And a bit run back there too. I'm not quite sure why that happened. I thought I had a good angle on it. Never mind. Alright, I'm going to get my rod. Pretty risk. 
down to Robs at the Art Man's already started on probably 30 years ago. I've got a nice little thought in there now. This is a heavier rod, it doesn't belong in that paper. I think the amp is up a little bit on that, I think. This should deposit some well down in there. Oops. Oh, that's different. No idea what he is. It's very different to well with. This is old. Gives you amperage numbers and gauges. Level bar all done. If you'd like to build your own gravel grader, there's a link to my website where you can download plans. It'll pop up in the corner of this video and it's repeated below in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. Until next time.